What I'm going to do now is add a computer controlled character to race against. Now I've chosen the object tool and I could choose to put a rover on to race against. However, he's ground based, which means he might struggle getting over the hills. Um, I could choose another cycle, but that might be a bit confusing even if I change the colour. So I'm actually going to race against a Kodu and I might drag him just over there and change his colour. Now I'm going to program Kodu in a minute to follow what's called a path. And paths in Kodu are um, completed using the this icon here that's got the pictures of the, the nodes of the path. And these are these appear as border. We can change the colour of the path as well, which means we can be specific and tell if we've got, for instance, a number of different sprites, we can tell them which colour path we want them to follow. But I'm just going to have the one path for now. Now to make life a little bit easier for myself, I'm going to zoom out and just rotate so I can see my track quite nicely from above. And it means that I can hopefully put in my path by just putting extra nodes around the track where we would like our code in a minute or two to follow. Now it does take a get, bit of getting used to the path tool. If you make a mistake, you can um, always press the escape key. I've finished my noun. You can see I've got my final node here that I don't particularly want to do anything with. But if I press the escape key, I've finished my path now. So there's my path going all the way around the edge. If we hover over a node, we can um, we can move it if we've made a bit of a bit of a mistake. We can also add nodes or we can delete nodes. Now here comes the code. Let me just move to a view where we can see Kodu and choose the object tool. I'm going to right mouse click and program here. And what I want to do automatically, if you leave this bit blank, it always does something. But just for um, for me being a little bit pedantic perhaps, but I always like to kind of put in the always. So it's always with our Kodu, he's always going to move. And to be more specific, we're not going to just have him moving randomly as in wander. We want him to follow the path. And if we did have colour schemes for our different paths, we could actually choose the path that he's going to follow. But as I've just got the one path, I want to put the red bit in for purposes of demonstration. So let's see what happens now if my game starts. As I press escape, Cody's off. He's um, hopefully going to be catching up against me now, following that path around. And I can bump him off the track, which makes it a little bit more exciting. He's not moving particularly quickly, though. I'm just going to go back and change Kodu's settings. And I can add, if I click on program, I can get him to move quickly. And I can add another one of those in. And again, this is all about playtesting and making sure we get the, um, the speed of the game correct. He's a bit faster now, but I'm still finding it quite easy to, to keep pace with him. So hopefully he's going to catch up with me. But, and hopefully this is demonstrating too how you can program a sprite. Now my, my path perhaps isn't that good because Kodu's just bounced off the invisible walls. But he will hopefully go all the way around the edge of the track. Maybe because he is going ridiculously slowly at the moment. Maybe I want to change his settings a little bit. So I can actually get him to, um, to, to go at a, a reasonable rate compared to me. Let's see what happens now. Now he's going to take some keeping up with. It's a good job he bumps off the walls like I do. But it is a little bit more challenging. Maybe I need to make adjust Cody's path a little bit so he doesn't bounce quite as much as he is doing at present. There we go. I've got myself quite a challenging game now. 